Back in 2003, the magazine Toro burst onto the Toronto literary scene and it filled a much needed gap for men's magazines, let's be honest. Now in 2008, Toro didn't go away, it just went online following the trends of a lot of you know, publications. I'm thrilled to have on the show with me the editor-in-chief of Toro magazine, William Morasuti. Thanks for coming on Thank the show. Thank you. Pleasure to be here. Now Toro is about uh, culture, it's about entertainment, it's about style, and we're going to talk about style today. That's right. It's a, Toro is really about um, all the things that guys need to know about. So it's from sports to fashion, uh, music, film books, right, the whole gamut. Right. And uh, yeah, today um, we want to talk about uh, trends in men's style. We brought in some items uh, that we can look at. Some of these are emblematic of just trends for the season, for the Fantastic. spring season. Yeah. Well, I, I noticed there's, a, there's a, a little bit of a, a retro thing going on with, with, a, with the Docksiders and this great <laughs> hat, but it's also got sort of a modern twist to it. So why don't, why don't we start uh, at this end? What do we got here? Sure. I mean, the hat, I, you know, the hat is a great look. It is a bit retro, and what I would say about the hat is you got to be able to pull it off. <laughs> yeah. Now, personally, I mean, I think it's a, a wonderful item. I wouldn't pull this off. One of our film reviewers, uh, Tom Ernst, wears right. these kind of things all the time, the pork pie hat, and he, he carries it off. So I think you have to feel confident uh, when you select an item like that. You can't walk around kind of self-conscious. You wear this one proudly. That's right. And, and, and I see a scarf here, and... Uh, in fact, I saw a photograph of Peter Monk wearing a scarf just like this. So I think, well, if Peter Monk can get away with it, why not? So This is a cool look. I mean, this is if you're going to channel your, your inner bohemian. This right. is not uh, for warmth, but it's to look cool. Um, it it kind of has a bohemian vibe. By, right. This is from uh, Hugo Boss. All right. And it has a, a nice infusion of color, yeah. So How do I wear it? Just, just like this? As per your own style, but I mean, I would just drape it lightly. <laughs> yeah, there we go. Am I... It's a good um, look. How do you like me now? I think it's very cool. All right, now let's let's move on to uh, let's move on to the uh, the pants. And you've, actually, we've got some shorts here, yep. and uh, folks may not be able to see this. I'm going to hold them up because they actually are striped. Yes, they are. These are some light blue uh, shorts, blue and white shorts from Bustle Clothing. Bustle's a Toronto-based uh, designer. Sean Hewson is with the designer. He's a very cool guy, kind of really part of the Toro demographic. He's a hip, urban uh, designer. And I like these because they're kind of classic, but they feel contemporary. Mm -hmm. You can wear them to the beach or to a patio, so... Well, they, they, they feel soft and comfortable. It's, it's not like the Bermuda shorts where you're walking around all, right. all, all stiff. A little more stylish. And what would, you, what would accompany this? What would you wear on top? I think if you were, um, let's say, going to a patio and you wanted to dress it up, maybe a crisp white shirt. Great. If you're at the beach, you could just ca wear a casual t-shirt with that. So. A lot. The trend here that we see, uh, Drew, is that a lot of these things you can dress up or down, mm -hmm. which is great because you don't have to buy as many items. There's good value there, and uh, it's just versatile. You can go out in, in the evenings or hang out in the day. One item I want to highlight for you, sure. which I think is really cool. I'll help you there. Yeah, there you okay. go. No worries. This is by um, UK-based designer, mm -hmm. and what I like about this, this is a Ted Baker design, and you can see the the pockets here are kind of askew. It's almost like Picasso designed this shirt. <laughs> You're right. And I, I, I think maybe th that it would look like an accident, but it's yeah. sort of like a deliberate accident. It's a bit eclectic. It's, yeah. it's kind of cool. There's little touches where there's a, a reverse hit of color there. So, but it's still a very traditional men's you know, short sleeve shirt. And, and so what's, what's the message that's being sent by, by uh, loosening things up around the lines uh, and the design? I think uh, the theme for the season is leisure. It's being relaxed. Uh -huh. It's kind of optimistic. I mean, none of this stuff, as you see, is, is too businessy. So uh, it seems like the tone for spring is just getting outdoors, splash of color, being relaxed. And, and I think there's an optimistic tone uh, to all of this clothing. Sure. Well, I, I like what you say about it not being too businessy because the message uh, around a lot of these clothes seems to be uh, you can wear the shirt at work and after work just take off the jacket and, and, right. and hit the patio, basically. Ab absolutely right. Here's another great what example. What do we got here? Yeah. This um, is a beautiful... Uh, you know, purple check shirt from uh, Got Style, mm -hmm. and this you could dress up very easily with a black blazer and black jeans. Even that's kind of a formal look, and with just blue jeans, I think it's a very comfortable look. Right. So again, it's just sharp though. It's a very it's really sharp. This is, uh, um, you know, part of their own private line, okay. Got Style's private line. Okay. It's high quality. Um, and just a really nice item. Fantastic. Now, you've got uh, at the, because uh, I want to bring it back, of course, to Toro. Sure. You have uh, some columnists that, that have a, a regular style beat at, at we the do. magazine. Well, one, of the, one of the ways that we cover style is we have 
um, photographers in New York, in Toronto, in Vancouver, mm -hmm. uh, in Montreal, and they shoot guys, uh, real men, who are just have a distinctive, interesting, cool look. Uh, we do it in, in Milan, in London. And so, so you just go up to these guys and ask, can I take a picture? Our photographers yeah. do that, yeah. They, they find <laughs> someone, they approach them. And they're really interesting because A, you get a flavor of the city. Right. Uh, B, they're real men, they're not fashion models. And mm. I think guys relate, uh, it's more about style, which is something coming from inside out as opposed to fashion, being foisted upon someone. Absolutely. So, it's like, can you pull off the look of this hat? Precisely. You don't have to be a model to, you know, to, uh, <laughs> to carry that off. Precisely. Fantastic. Now let's take a look. We've got time for one more. Okay. What, I, what else do you want to highlight here? I think here? one thing we should highlight is um, the blazers because, yep. you know, some time ago um, I talked to Harry Rosen, who's a, a real style icon in Canada, and he told me he likes blazers because A, they look great, you're dressed instantly, even if it's a casual cool blazer like this, but also they're practical. I mean, you've got a lot of pockets. Mm -hmm. So women have purses. Guys need to put their stuff somewhere, and, and I love blazers. So I think guys should always look uh, to invest in blazers, and once again, uh, on the theme we've discussed, you can dress it up, you can dress it down, this could go with jeans. Absolutely. It, it looks you... like something you, you, could, you could even uh, wear to a beach or a boat type event, and to a company. We've got these. <laughs> Remember these? The classic. The yeah. classic. Yeah. Fantastic. So, and, and, and items like that, or if you want to lift up that bag, I mean, sure. this is a real aspirational item for men. This is a weekend getaway bag. Um, I love it. Yeah. It, 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 it almost looks like a Fred Flintstone bowling bag. <laughs> it's a little classier than that, however. But it's beautiful leather. This is from Hugo Boss, available at Harry Rosen. And it's just, you know, men need aspirational items too. Women have their high-end designer sure. purses. So this is like... You almost want to go on a weekend trip when you have an item like this. Well, this is great. Thank you so much for bringing all of this to the show. Pleasure. We'll have you back for sure. In the meantime, uh, you can check out Toro Magazine. The website is Toro Magazine. That's one word, dot C-A. Dot now, com. Dot com. Okay. Toro Magazine dot com. Thank you for the, the clarification. And now here's some events taking place around Toronto right now.